What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. Blender 3.5 has just come out and we're gonna be talking about the best of the best features. Now Blender was already powerful enough with their earlier releases, but the developers have been hard at work to pump in some new features, some bug fixes, and a whole lot more. Today we're gonna be covering the best of the best that you can expect from this update so you can determine whether or not it's worth your time to go ahead and get yourself some new Blender. Anyways, I'm super excited, I know you are too. All right, let's go. First up, let's talk about the animation feature. So in this new version, Blender 3.5, we have the new Asset Browser Pose Library. To make this whole experience smoother, they've also updated the context menu, which now looks like this. And you can also apply poses directly from this context menu. As a little bonus, you can flip that blend pose by holding down control on your keyboard. Another pretty awesome aspect of this is that the pose assets can also be subtracted when blending by dragging to the left rather than just to the right. A huge, huge bonus to this as well is that you can also exaggerate poses by pressing E on your keyboard for extrapolate, which will allow you to increase the application of a pose by more than 100%. So you can get some pretty funky results here. Next up, we have the graph editor. So a new feature in Blender 3.5's graph editor is that you can now ease keys on an exponential curve with the new ease operator, which you can find by going right up here and then clicking under key and slider operator. Simply select the keys that you want to ease and then move your mouse to adjust. This is a super awesome feature and I definitely think it will come in handy. As another little bug fix or added bonus is that there is a better propagate pose operator now in Blender which doesn't result in undesired behaviors when keys are not on the same frame. Just check out the difference between the old version and the newer version here. Next we have huge improvements to EV and the viewport. So we have a new viewport compositor shading option that applies the result of the compositor editor node tree directly into the 3D viewport. To access this new viewport compositor, all I have to do is turn on my viewport shading option and then open up the compositor tab. And here, if I go ahead and add in a quick blur to this image, I can start to see the results right here in real time, which is pretty awesome. Now, currently not all of the compositor setups are supported since this is a pretty new feature, but I think there's a lot of fun to have while playing around with this. Now for Mac users, you guys are gonna enjoy some added improvements because now Blender is gonna use Metal for the user interface and 3D viewport. This will provide a huge, huge improvement to performance and stability. Next up, Grease Pencil. For those of you who love using Grease Pencil, we also have another bonus for Grease Pencil, which is the build option, which will now include realistic drawing speeds. So now if you draw areas faster than others, that will also be recorded and displayed when you use that build option. Next we have simulations. So in this new version of Blender 3.5, you can expect faster cloth simulations, which is awesome because simulations in general take a long time and it's always welcome to have something faster when it comes to 3D. Thanks a lot devs for pumping in faster cloth simulations in this new version. If you're enjoying this video, make sure you guys go ahead and hit like. It does a tremendous amount for the channel and helps us keep going. Thanks in advance. For those who are just getting into Blender, there's a new essentials assets that's gonna be coming right out the gate with Blender. And this one is gonna include Include hair node groups and a lot of useful features that you can get started creating without having to dive into the weeds of creating these yourself. There's also a new all assets menu which will show all the assets. Pretty helpful there as well. That one of the other big improvements to Blender's Cycles engine is that we're gonna get now better Cycles light sampling. So if you compare these results, not a drastic difference, but it is slightly better than it was in the past. Eevee now gets support for flexible spotlights, which gives them the support for non-uniform objects. Object scale. These features are just some of the ones that I was most excited about and I think will be helpful, but there are so many more. So make sure you guys go ahead and check those release notes, which we're gonna be leaving a link in that description box. All in all, I think it's worth it to upgrade to Blender 3.5. But if you guys have not even seen the older versions of Blender from 3.3 and 3.4, one of those ones which have a bunch of new features, I highly recommend you check out this video because we talk about some of the awesome features that you can expect there. Also, if you guys wanna check out using ChatGPT in Blender to create some awesome setups, it's pretty cool and mind blowing at the same time. Highly recommend you check out this video here that we got on the channel. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope to catch you in the next one. All right, peace.